Across this vast earth, there are over 7 billion people who call it home. Interestingly enough, we can literally split that number into two separate groups, male and female, man and woman, boy and girl. Both of these groups go hand in hand. Without the other, the world could not function. So how should art differ from that? There are two particular pieces of art that can be put into these two categories, and yet it would be wrong to only talk about one and not the other. These two paintings that have captured the wonder and attention of so many people are called The Blue Boy and Pinky. Today we will be diving deeper into the history and significance of these two paintings and unravel the meanings behind these two incredible pieces. Let's start with The Blue Boy. Created by Thomas Gainsborough in 1770, this oil painting has captured the eye of many people in the time that it has been brought into this world. In order to understand the painting, let's look more into the artist behind this masterpiece. Thomas Gainsborough was among the most prominent artists of his day. Though he preferred to paint landscapes, he made his career producing stylish portraits of the British royalty and aristocracy. He lived from 1727 to 1788 and created many different and stylish portraits of the higher class in England. The boy in the painting is said to be the portrait of Jonathan Buttle, 1752 to 1805, the son of a wealthy hardware merchant. Next, let's move on to Pinky. This painting was created in 1794 by Thomas Lawrence. Unlike Gainsborough, Thomas Lawrence was a leading English portrait painter and the fourth president of the Royal Academy. He was born in Bristol and began drawing in Devizes, where his father was an innkeeper at the Bear Hotel in the Market Square. It was first displayed in the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition in 1795. The girl in the painting is named Sarah Gooden Barrett Moulton. She was born on March 22, 1783, and was the oldest of four sisters. When she was six, her grandmother had requested that she would have a full-length painting be made of her because she wanted something to remember her little pinky by. Sadly, when she was 12, Sarah passed away due to an illness, and her portrait was displayed in the Royal Academy of Art the day after her funeral. Now, one big question that has been asked for a while is, how are these two paintings related? They come from completely different artists a quarter of a century apart, and yet people can't help but link these two pieces together. The answer lies in the age and style of the clothing of the children. Both of their outfits match in time period, and when both of them got their portrait painted, they were the same age. With so many similarities, and many people love <laughs> to make connections, society had dubbed these two paintings as the Romeo and Juliet of the Rocco portraits. And to put it honestly, I can't blame them. I also see these beautiful masterpieces and the couple who will never meet. And that is what makes them so magnificent.